Hey guys, Ramblin' Bob here, and I have some exciting information. Definitely for me, I don't know if it's exciting for you. I think it's exciting for everybody. So, I've been following Petgron for a year. As everyone on this channel knows, I have, ele- I think, 11 products. Yeah, I think it's 11 uh, uh, Petgron products that we've purchased and uh, uh, tested and reviewed for a year. Like, holy cow. Um, well, okay, let me get straight to the point, guys. Okay, so if you look at this picture, guys, you think, okay, big deal, it's the systems lined up. But look at it closely. What do you see? I'll give you three seconds. One, two, three. Guys, this is the first official E3600 LFP system that I've seen anywhere. I haven't seen a picture yet officially on Pecron's website or anything. And look down here, guys. You see this little bad boy? That's the E300 LFP. I will be purchasing, we will be purchasing every single system that you see here. This one we're going to be purchasing, and then we're going to be purchasing this one as soon as they're available. Definitely, we're going to do reviews. Guys, all three of these um, we have. We purchased this one with our own money. We purchased this one with our own money. This one was given to us for Pecron to do a review for. So uh, we like the system, but you know, all all disclaimers, we didn't pay a penny for this one. We got it for a sponsor review. But this one we paid all our money for. This one, and these are full sets, guys. This one obviously is eight kilowatts of power, 8,000 watt hours of power, and this is 7.590. watt hours of power which is we're going to round it to 7.6 kilowatts of power uh four batteries we have this system right here guys and uh two more of these coming to 48 volt battery pack this is the 24 down here and this is the 48 um i i can uh, tell because of the difference in pictures uh that's how much i know about Pecron and their products i've, I've literally tested uh, just about everything that they released and um learned a lot about this system so i do have a very very strong background as far as these machines as far as the knowledge um we're supposed to be getting this and 248 volt battery packs possibly within the next week and i cannot wait to start testing and reviewing that and i'm going to put that bad boy head to head with the e2000 lfp and show the people what the difference is and if that system's right for you maybe it's not maybe none of these systems are right for you that's the point of this channel is to show the technology and help us all learn as a team that's what the scriber family is and if you're not a scriber family get up there and hit that button guys because we all work together here to figure out if if someone has a problem we all work together to fix it if they have a question we all work together to try to answer it there's a lot of things that you can do in this world with a group of people that you really really have a tough time doing by yourself so uh, j- join the scriber family guys okay so this system like i said will be coming hopefully in one week um they said it would be shipped out this weekend it is this weekend guys i'm Oh, my, I, I, I want to get it. And like I said, we bought it with our own money, guys. So even though we're going to do sponsored reviews, uh, they're not they're not uh, really sponsored because we bought them um, from Pecron using our own money. Well, our own credit card. Now we got to pay the credit card off. But Okay, so we, we want to see if they, we have a close-up view. Um, this is the E3600 LFP, guys. Um, and then this is the E3... Um, E300 LFP. So both will have lithium iron phosphate batteries. Everything you see here is lithium iron phosphate. This one is lithium ion, but this one is a steal for the price. 36 watt hours, uh, I'm sorry, 36 cents per watt hour. Uh, 500 bucks, you get just about 1500 uh, watt hours of power for an emergency. That's huge, guys. That's really huge for someone that's not into solar power but needs something for a backup plan or emergency. Or well, I mean, with 1500 watt hours, guys, I- I've showed I've showed on this little thing. If you guys go back and look at the video that we just put up with this E600 LFP, right? This is I think about 50. I want to say about 59 cents a watt hour. But guys, we were able to make two cheeseburgers, two omelet thingies. Um, what else did we make? Uh, a whole thing of, of uh, not instant rice, guys. None of that cheap stuff. We made the full-on 30-minute uh, cooking time rice because instant rice is five minutes in microwave. And it, if I can say so, that's that's nasty, <laughs> guys. I like full natural rice, and and I could probably, even though I won't, I could probably speak for 90% of the world, guys, that real natural, real rice from the ground 
is just a better product than the instant stuff. I don't like that instant stuff, guys. I did when I was younger, but I moved on to more quality in, in, in my food. Um, and every country in the world has, uh, has rice. I mean, that, that, that's a worldwide thing. It's a basis for, for um, you know, 90% of the food is out there is rice and corn. Um, okay, so here's the other side, and uh, I'll explain to you how I knew the difference between these two um, just by looking at them. So the other side has a little bit more options. It has a, uh, either a circuit breaker or a fuse that's built into the battery, which the original ones did not. And I think that's a huge, huge monster upgrade, guys, because, you know, say if you have a short in here or something, you can't reset nothing, right? You can open it. That's a pain in the butt. Uh, the new one is up here, and how you can tell is, you see how flush these are, guys? These are just rubber covers. And they use plastic, I think it's ABS plastic, that they use for the connectors. And then obviously there's, uh, I'm going to say aluminum, I, I don't know, copper uh, connectors inside of that. And then that, uh, uh, you know, transfers the power. But the new ones, guys, if I could turn this in this bad boy sideways, there's aluminum, uh, um, I, I don't know, Copper aluminum. I'm assuming it's aluminum because aluminum works really good as a cooling uh, sink. That's why they always use aluminum uh, cooling sinks on on motherboards or processors and video cards and whatnot. Those are those little weird little things that look like a little building with all the little lines. Uh, the heat goes through there and it's trans uh, um, transported very quickly away from the hot zone and then kind of puts it out into the air and then a fan blows over that. But these have little aluminum connectors now, guys, which I think is a huge upgrade too for safety, number one, and for the cooling down of the ports. If you're using this bad boy at a heavy draw or heavy load, uh, you can have a much better chance of cooling these down uh, as opposed to a plastic connector like uh, MC4. Uh, if, if MC4 had a aluminum heat sink on the outside of it i think it would help i don't know if that would be a good idea or not it's just a theory but uh that's how i can tell them apart obviously it'll say 48 volts here and 24 here but these pictures are so small you you can't see it guys and uh like i said these these are the first peak pictures i've ever seen i've ever seen of the, these systems uh so oh so here's what i'm talking about see this this is the 24 all i have to see it says 24 all i have to do is see it that's how much knowledge i have of these products uh, i consider myself a not an expert, guys. I'd never use the word a educated person when it comes to Pecron products because I've used a lot of them. And boy, I, I've got probably thousands, thousands of hours of experience and knowledge with, with the systems that I have from Pecron. Um, so up here, there, there's uh, um, this is the input, right? The XT60. Uh, I'm sorry, this is the input, the 5-pin aviation. This is the XT60 output. And then here's your USBs here. And then this is your power button to turn it on. And on the other side, you have your, your dual ports, which are your input-output. But there's no circuitry or fuse that I know of that's on these boxes. So it's, that's nice to see, guys. That's real nice to see. This is obviously the system I have already for uh, since September. Um, matter of fact, here, let's, let's take a peek here. Um, this is Oh, guys, I want to show you this, too. I'm going to jump all over the place, and I'm sorry. Uh, notice that this is all they have on their website, right? There's no uh, E300 LFP yet officially on their website or a 3600 LFP. I happened to see this uh, just by looking through Amazon this morning, um, and I just I got excited because for the first time, I actually saw a picture, guys, a picture. Um, oh, before I get into like I said, I'm going to hop all over the place, guys. That's how my brain works, guys. It's jumpy. Okay, so... Um, you, you guys remember the video that I made with the E1500 LFP just as a first look? I don't have the system yet, maybe for another week. But uh, I, I had mentioned, and Mrs. Rambling Bob had mentioned, that uh, there's no covers on a lot of these anymore. And if you guys notice, on the E3600, right, look at they have covers, guys. Huge upgrade. I You know, some people hate the covers. I like them. I use my system in a workshop. In a workshop, can be dusty. It can be dirty. Um, you know, you could clean it every day. It still doesn't make much of a difference. You're going to have, when you rip stuff apart and rebuild it, you're going to have a buildup of dust that accumulates 24 hours, 7 days a week, 365 days a year. So uh, th it's nice to see that these are covered. Not to mention, guys, this looks like, and I'm only guessing, this looks like a 120-volt, 30-amp, uh, what is it called, a, a, a MANA or a NANA TT, the one that goes into the... Uh, um, the RV systems, great that they finally got a, a, a port here that can put out some amperage and you know put out a high load where you don't have to um, you know daisy chain a couple of these together you know scarily and you know or, or do two different systems or I mean there's just this is this is going to be a huge upgrade. Plus you have the XT60 
here guys if you look at you can see that the shape of it is the same shape as this except there's a cover on it that like I said the covers I like the E2000 LFP every single port was covered and I like that the E1500 guys I think I'm gonna be honest guys that's what this review channel is for I think Pecron guys you got a little cheap you you took off these you know these little cover ports and with the E600 and the E300 LFP they don't have covers Pecron I like to see these on all your systems Blue Eddy has it on most of their systems I like it because as I said I use mine in a workshop and I do like the protection of being able to close that port and not having the possibility of water vapor or dust or debris or anything that possibly possibly could get inside those ports and wreak havoc on those and um, if you guys remember the Nintendo system you remember the old Nintendo system the 8-bit you remember Super Mario and all that stuff guys I'm a huge video game kid so uh, with those cartridges you remember how you had to blow in them to get them to work well that was one of the worst things you could possibly do but it was temporarily fixed right it just kept getting worse and worse and worse and what happens with the context and why this is important why I just rambled off uh, into a whole nother subject was these pores have that same copper contact okay so what happens is when water residue or any kind of a moisture builds up on that oxidation occurs and it 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 like same with teeth guys you get a cavity and a cavity does never fix itself right you can prolong it but a cavity turns into a missing tooth it's the inevitable so what happens with the context of the game and the context of a power station if it's left open like this if you're around moisture too long and that moisture builds up inside those ports guys you will have a pitted part of the contact which is it looks the same as a cavity in a tooth so and I know that's a horrible thing to talk about guys <laughs> we've all had our, our, our nightmare uh, stories with the dentist and whew. okay so what happens is that oxidation and that pitted the same as rust on a car rust will never go away ever naturally you have to sand it down and recoat it right on a car otherwise you put have to put bondo on it or whatever and recoat it to get that rust away you have to spray it with a primer so basically what i learned years ago guys is to take the board out of that nintendo cartridge and use a a penny racer that was the trick not a pencil eraser it's too soft a penny racer would sand down the board the same technique almost I mean, in theory it is, as what a dentist would do, and he would file down a layer of your teeth off to get that oxidation or that, that pitted part of the cavity or whatever it is in, in that, you know, business it's called, uh, uh, or uh, whatever it's called, the, the industry of dentistry. And what that would do, what it would make your teeth very, very good again as far as the contacts, right? But what you're doing is you're sanding off a layer of your enamel of your teeth. So that's what we used to do with these contacts. But now here's the difference with the contacts as opposed to the... Well, I suppose it's the same with the teeth, right, guys? So if you uh, kept care of these ports by putting the cover on, not exposing it to moisture, dust, debris, and all kinds of, you know, uh, crapzilla stuff like that, um, this port will last much much longer I, I i go on the record by saying i would put this uh actually this system you know with the uh, uh, covers against this system i guarantee you that these ports will last probably 10 times as long as these i mean these power stations will be dead before these get oxidized if if you always kept these little covers on there so peck around. don't get cheap on us now don't get cheap don't be cutting corners it's only a couple bucks here throw them on all your systems i like them uh, they do have them on all the batteries. That's a plus, right? Notice how they didn't have it on the older ones? So I, I, I do like that. Uh, and, oh, and dual inputs, guys. Okay, like I said, I'm going to jump all over the place, guys. I'm excited. Um, you have dual inputs. I wish, I wish, I wish, I wish I could read this. I can't see it. I did uh, uh, screenshot this bigger here to try to see if I could read it. And notice, guys, you cannot read it. Uh, I wish I could read that. It's just a blur mush. I, let's hope, let's hope at the very minimum, guys, at the very minimum, these are six or 700 watt inputs each at 15 amps from 32 to 95, which I think that's what that says, but guys, you, you can't read that. I'm assuming because they're probably gonna go along with the same MPT, uh, MPPT controllers that they had in the 2000 and the 1500 for the 3600. Um, this one we don't use anymore. That's probably gonna be, uh, was it 12 to 18, which is 25 volt open circuit. 
um, which is very important, guys. Don't go over that 25 volt open circuit. And then at 100 watts, at I, I believe, I want to say seven amps. I think that one is. But uh, guys, if, you know, let's hope. Let's hope. Fingers are crossed for me, for sure, that they put these up to a hundred watt input each at 15 amps i would love to see that that would be great and then this is still your 30 now look at the screen though guys this is a huge difference with the screen too like i said i'm hopping all over the place guys um the screen now if you remember the e1500 the e600 and the e2000 all had that 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 uh, was it 20, 40, 60, 80, 100 you know the bars i have never ever a fan of that and i i i you know, uh, ne negative rambled on that against Pecron because I didn't like that uh, that style of system. I liked a more fluid system, whether either it's a percentage or like this, guys. Notice that this looks like a... Um, do you guys remember the Apple um, phones, the original ones? I don't know if they still do it. I think Android adopted it. But, you know, when you plug it in, you get that little that, that charging symbol, and then you see the little liquid kind of come in, uh, and then it kind of goes up. In, in a more, it's just a more structured view of actually what power's in there as opposed to, you know, 20, 40, 60. I hated that. I always hated that, guys. Like the old batteries used to have uh, 25, uh, 50, 75, and 100. I hated that. I always hated that. I've complained about it for a long time. They work. I can't hate on that. But I, I always disliked the, the uh, system that a lot of companies used with that 25 fit. I hate that. Oh, I hated that. But now look at this. looks like a lot more fluid, guys. So this looks like, uh, similar to the iPhone and Android, how they have that, that liquid-ish look as it fills up. If you can remember the, the, the soda video that I made explaining why um, uh, MPPT controllers and BMS systems uh, slow down charging so they overfill with the soda and the soda is a very good representation of what happens to a battery it can't contain that chemical reaction and it goes boom right out right so it has to slow it down to control that chemical reaction otherwise you get an overflow of power uh, for the container that you're trying to put it in so I thought that was a very 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 good valid representation of what happens to a battery when you charge it too fast um, but guys this this whole system, it looks like it's one, two, three, four, five. And with the lights up here, the warnings and everything, and hopefully there's a time. I'd like to see a clock on these systems, guys. Not just in the app, on the actual system. I think that would be helpful and useful. Um, uh, each a little section here. So this is obviously the DC out and in. Um, and then this is the AC out and in. Notice it has a, the peer uh, sine wave uh, logo right here to, to show you that either the uh, the, you know the UPS and the, and the uh, uh, pure sine wave is is active, uh, so th that's they're getting better, guys. They're really getting better, and uh, I, I, I'm along for the ride with Pecron. I've invested uh, a, a lot into the technology that I purchased for them. Same with Blue Eddy, though. I put you know I, I I've got a lot of stuff invested with Blue Eddy as far as products that I got from them, and uh, time you know time is t time is unrecoverable, guys. If you spend a year. Uh, you know, like uh, researching stuff as I did with Pecron, uh, VTO Man, Blue Eddie, Akito. I, I researched a lot, a lot, guys. I feel like I went to college again without a degree here. But uh, you do uh, spend an enormous amount of time helping other people when they have questions or problems, and we help them try to fix them. Um, so uh, with, with this, uh, this screen, I don't know what this is, guys. Um, hopefully this is a percentage. I, I do like to see the percentage. I like this, but I like to see a real-time percentage from 1% to 100%, guys. That's that's as accurate as you can get, if you will. Uh, but I do like this over than the uh, the four or five bar charging systems that a lot of companies have. Like my uh, my uh, Akitel has, let's see, it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. There's nine uh, things in, 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 in a circle like this, right? And then it's, it like uh, fill, fills up the block as it fills. But right in the middle is what I like. There's a percentage, 1 to 100. I like that, guys. It's a much more accurate representation of um, what power's in this box. Oh, and now that this system is able to do, well, not this one per, per se, but the E1500 LFP is able to um, uh, update its voltage and power meter in real time. I saw that on Hobotech's video, and now is this ecstatic to see that because that's one major drawback with the e2000 lfp um jumping around it looks like it's going to have now this is just a guess guys but looking at this i see 
Um, there's a wireless, it's probably going to be 15 watt wireless charger up here, but notice it's off to the side, guys. That tells me, because see that little dot right there? That tells me just by looking at the system, it's probably going to have dual phone chargers on top. So that way you and your husband or you and your, your wife don't have to fight or you and your friends don't have to fight over who gets the wireless charging. You guys can share now. So uh, that's that that looks like another upgrade for that system. I don't know what these are, guys. I think we talked about these. I don't know. I just did a whole video, guys, uh, for 45 minutes long, and then I found out that I forgot to click on the microphone, which made me feel very stupid because uh, such a simple mistake can wreck an hour of your time. So, so I'm doing it again. Um, but I, I'd love to know what is inside here. Guys, in the comment section, if you think you know what is underneath these panels, is this more AC outputs possibly? Are these solar inputs over here? But here, see, so you got your solar input here. Um, are these the, oh, maybe it's the AC charging input, guys. I didn't think of that um, because here's your DC input. Uh, maybe they have an AC straight input. I, I don't know, guys. We're going to have to wait and see. I noticed also that the E1500 LFP only has three 120 at 20 amps, and this will probably have four at 120 at 20 amps if they stay with the same uh, you know, um, protocol design that they have already. But this is going to be a, a game changer for a lot of people. That's going to help a lot of people to be able to bring out 30 amps at 120 if that's what that's going to be. Um, these are probably going to be the same, the XT60, XT90. Let's hope it's XT90, but I'll, I'll, XT60 is fine. Uh, that's a huge upgrade. Uh, this is probably going to be a barrel. Guys, if you use a barrel anymore, please put in the comments what, you, what the heck you use a barrel for anymore. I have not used a barrel in so many years other than to do testing on these systems. Um, I, just, I just never seem to need it. You know, from back in like, if you remember like the CB days and things like that, you could use barrels, but... Um, I cannot, maybe a charger for an RC car, maybe, but uh, but now that you have the XT60, I wouldn't need that, but what would you use a barrel for, guys? Like, throw me a ham radio stuff? I mean, throw me out some ideas of what you could still use to this day, 2023, what you could still use a barrel for and not use the XT60. I think they kept it on there just for, you know, maybe people, and it's nice that they did. Same with the old grandpa uh, USB A's, guys. Uh, there's people still out there that don't have technology yet, you know, or the newer technology. There are millions of people, possibly billions around the world that don't have technology yet. And they're still behind the times as far as the, the, they're not the, the, the most up Updated technology folks on their block and you know they're learning we all had to start somewhere right I've only been in solar for maybe maybe two years I want to say maybe two years and th what I've learned in two years is enough to make your your head spin the, the numbers the, the 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 units the different techniques of charging the voltage when you put two panels together in series the voltage doubles when you put them together in parallel the amperage double I mean that stuff you have to remember or you're going to start a fire so there's a ton of things that are you know life and death situations when it comes to solar or electricity in general because you could really get hurt with this stuff this is this is not a toy guys and when you're starting to deal with 30 amps out right and 48 volt battery systems that's enough to you know hurt you bad in a bad way um you know, it was it the old saying is it only takes half an amp to kill you. That that's that's a that's a true thing. That's so scary. I I remember learning about uh, Nikola Tesla or Nikita Tesla, depending on what part of the uh, the pond you live on. Um, he, the guy was a hero of mine, and you know his his line of thinking was so outside the box that he questioned reality with 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 his designs. Hey, do you guys remember the famous picture where he's literally sitting? Um, you know what? I, I want to show you the picture. I, I know this is rambling, guys, and I apologize. Um, let's see, uh, Nikolai. Well, I can never, I can never spell it. I'll spell it wrong, and then it's it's N N Nikolai. Here it is. Um, he had the the famous picture. Uh, this young fella right here, guys, game changer in his own right. I mean, this guy was a legend before he was even uh, people knew his name. But here's this is the famous pictures, guys. This really happened, and this is in um, the. Britannica, so the Encyclopedia Britannica, and here's Popular Mechanics, and I'll, I'll, I'll show you both of them, guys. So let's see if they pop up here. Okay, so here's the picture. Obviously, it's not a good picture because they didn't have high quality back then, guys. But this is a enhanced picture from probably a 100 and whatever 20 by 60 resolution or whatever they had back then, if even that, from a, a, a still uh, camera. But uh, Notice, he's sitting under a million volts of electricity, guys. This is not a joke. These are legitly lightning strikes 
right by his head. And he's reading a newspaper or a book. I believe it's a newspaper. Um, but you want to talk about a guy that literally put his cojones on the line. Guys, This he could have instantly been turning to a french fry with one touch of any thing here and this is probably a million volts at who knows 10 milliamps half a mil who knows what is what he actually ran uh because all his stuff has all been confiscated but guys this guy was so dedicated to his work that he literally sat under his invention you want to talk about having uh boat if you pardon the the, the pun guys and I apologize bowling balls of steel holy crapzilla you wouldn't find me doing that sorry I wouldn't even sit next to a solar panel when it's on I walk away um, but guys th this technology is so amazing of where it's it's come and now look at you can walk around in these little boxes portable holy crapzilla guys um, oh I wanted to show you one other thing guys if I can click uh, let me see I'll click this one uh, nope nope I want to click this one I want to go to, whoop, whoop, I lost it here. Oh, come on, Rambling Bobby, you got to be faster than that. Okay, I'll click on it real fast. We're going to go to here, and um, I want to show you, um, like I said, I'm all about transparency here, guys. So notice these are the reviews, guys, for this system. And I, I don't know why I'm not the top review anymore. I used to be. Um, uh, but if, if you see here, it's 119 people we've helped. Uh, with our review to uh, let them know this is the first video that I put up on uh, YouTube uh, J January 5th 2023 that's what helped a lot of people with that with that stupid battery cascading thing and Pecron didn't put the that the stupid information in the uh, manual and notice that as soon as I got it guys I uploaded it for the world to see uh, it wasn't my job to do it I don't work for Pecron but I I just I felt that this is very important information that had to get out there so people can understand what they're doing, guys. Oh, here, here's a quick one, guys. If you have this system, the E1500 or the E2000 with a battery, sorry, Pecron, if you have the full system, do not purchase this cart, guys. Do not, because the weight of the cart gets very, very bendy under 170 pounds. And I think the reason is because this cart was originally designed for the E3000. Remember that system, that lithium uh, ion batteries, which is much lighter, and it didn't have expandable batteries? So, guys, if you're going to do this with the full uh, rack, which is 8,000 watt hours, I, I recommend, like I said, sorry, Pecron, I, you know, I'm, I'm independent. Um, don't buy this if you have the whole system, guys. I like my idea better. Um, where I'll show you. this one here guys this is uh, what we bought at at the freight we call it the harbor freight guys when I did my first official testing not even as a reviewer just a, j you know just a dude that bought some expensive stuff and wanted to see how it worked and that was it and then I tried to help other people um, this is a 10 or 15 uh, but I think 10 maybe 12.99 right now like, you know it goes up and down the freight always bounces the sales every day uh, but this is like a 10 to a $15 average uh, dolly and it, it holds like I don't know I'd rate it at like a thousand pounds or some crazy, uh, but this is only 170 pounds, guys, which is a lot if you have, um, um, you know, tr troubles picking up that much weight. I know I do. That's a, that's a lot of weight for me. 170 pounds? No, I could pick up 100, and then past 100, guys. Yeah, no, I'm 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 getting too old for that. Uh, so anything past 100 pounds, I put it on some wheels. You know, cavemen invented the wheels for a reason. Let's use them. Let's save the knees and the back and the neck and the arms and the rotator cuffs and everything else that bends and moves on your body. Let's save them. But uh, I I would recommend one of these guys. And you know, it, it's not 150 dollars, right, or 100 whatever that card is, guys. This was 10, 10, I think I paid 10 bucks at that time. Um, but you can obviously see that this is very much our review. Um, this is the system in action. And I put the system out for the world to see. Our personally paid for in cash, well, a credit card, and then paid it off. Uh, out for the world to see. So any headaches or problems that I've had, you followed along with me at this channel. You saw it in real time. We didn't cherry pick nothing. We literally showed you we had pr troubles with these cables. Now that's all worked out. Uh, we had troubles with the MPPT controllers. All the new versions have the new ones. Uh, that stupid 65 watt output for USB-C is now 100. So we did a lot and we held Peck Ground's feet to the fire and said, hey, if you're going to tell people it's 100 watts, it has to be 100 watts. And here, Peck Ground, I'll, I'll, I'll throw a challenge out to you, okay? Like I said, I don't work for Peck Ground, so I'm going to 
put a personal challenge out for Pecron. If you want me to endorse this as far as I think it's a good product, well, make a stronger one. Make one that can hold 170 pounds without any bending of this aluminum. This is just, you know, half-inch aluminum, guys. That's not very strong. It's fine for this. But once you start putting these batteries under, guys, I guarantee that that's going to bow over time and start bending because it's just it wasn't designed for it, and that's why. So it's really not Pecron's fault per se. You know, now they should make a new one, but um, I, I I don't like that they, they they showed the battery on there. This is the cart, guys. This is the, the, the little trolley that we bought, the little dolly. Um, you know, like make uh, I don't know what to say. Make make, make a better cart, Pecron. I, I I challenge you to that. I'm I'm sure your engineers can make a more heavy duty. Maybe some one inch pipes on there. You know, just to you know handle the weight of the, these batteries are like sixty pounds a piece. It's not a joke. It's, it's heavy stuff when you put this whole bad boy together. Okay, so uh, as I was saying, this is our review, guys. You can see we've helped out almost 120 people here. Uh, many people. Uh, we got like 140,000 views on this channel. Um, that's unbelievable. Uh, we didn't do it to make a review channel, guys. We, we did it, and it turned into a review channel. It, as crazy as that was. I, I listed all the information that I learned and knew about just to try to help people. That's what this channel was based off of, is to, you know, even when it doesn't have, like here it says, uh, where does it say Bluetooth? I just saw that. I mean, here, Bluetooth, this model does not have Bluetooth or an app. So I wanted people to know the information that, uh, you know, here you go, the dolly. Uh, $10 dollars that we, we use at the freight, 165 pounds. It's actually about 170, but 165 is close enough. Um, we're not a sales channel. We don't aim to be. We don't plan on being. We want to be a channel that helps people and really figure out what's the best next step for all of us in, in this uh, this power station stuff, guys. That's that's what I'm looking for. Is you know what's best for my my uh, bang for my buck, my five bucks and five bucks a product. But none of these are five bucks, guys. So you know, uh, five bucks you could throw away on the ground outside and not care. This is way more than five bucks. Th this full system is about. I want to say $4,500 when we bought it. This one, I think, is about $3,200, and that's not with the sales and everything. This, uh, I'm sorry, this one, boy, I'm getting confused too. This one was about $4,500. This one is about $3,500. This one is all by itself. This one will be by itself, I, ass I assume. But this bad boy, this is going to be a pricey thing. I'm going to guess, and it's only a, a guesstimation, but it's an educated guess, guys. I figure at the average of what Pecron does is approximately 50 to 60 cents per watt hour. If this has about 3,000 watt hours in here, because uh, the system is going to be 15,000 total, that's four batteries plus the main system. So I'm, I'm going to assume that's 3,000 watt hours in here, guys. That's, I would say 1,500 plus possibly another 500 for all the rest of the components. So I, I'm going to uh, just assume that this system is going to be real close to the 2,000 to 2,000. Oh, I, no, my 2300 price range. Don't quote me on that. That's an educated guess. Um, these will probably hopefully come down, but right now they're 1300 bucks per, which is about, uh, I think that's less. I think it's 49 cents or something like that. You could do the math real quick. Grab a calculator. Um, 3072 divided by 1300. Um, I don't have my calculator uh, handy. Well, let me turn it on here. I'll help. Um, I'm part of the team here. Let me Let me find this out. Um, and I, like I said, I know this is a long ramble, guys, but th this technology excite, it really excites me. I, I, I haven't found a hobby like this since I found drones and RC cars, and I found that back in the extremely late uh, 70s or the very early 80s. I don't recall, but like I had the uh, Danger Will Robinson thing with the cord on it with the 9-volt batteries, and you push it, and it walks, and it goes, Danger Will Robinson, you know. So like from that day forward, I had a ton of love and compassion if you will for technology especially the rc world okay so let me use the calculator here we're going to do uh let's see i wish i had one on the screen i just i, I don't have a, a calculator guys can you believe that um okay so 3072 watt hours uh divided by 1300 bucks that obviously doesn't include um Oh, wait, I'm sorry. I did it the wrong way. Uh, $1,300 divided by 3,072 watt hours. And that brings it down to 43.3, uh, sorry, 42.3 cents per watt hour. Guys, that, that is the lowest price per watt hour that I have ever seen of any system. As I said, I'm a, I'm a huge fan of Blue Eddy. I, I love their technology. I'm on their website every single week, probably three or four times a week with Tim. We help them on their live stream. But guys, price per watt hour, I have not seen anything that uh, gives me the 
watt hour capacity which you've seen on my system I'm still getting 90s 90s plus as far as my capacity watt hour rating of the E2000 uh, it's an 8064 watt hour system I'm still getting 7100 to 7200 and I, as far as how many cycles I'm on guys I'll be honest I have no clue I lost track uh, we cycled it every single day since we've had it since September um, plus maybe two or three times some days because remember you do a lot of tests and when you do a lot of tests you got to put more energy in there and uh, so I, I don't even know I'm gonna say maybe if I can guesstimate well obviously 365 ish maybe 500 so I do and you get 3500 so I, I've got years to come and then of course now we've slowed down on the cycles guys to once once a day because we don't have to do the test with the system anymore we probably burned up an extra 50 to 100 cycles easily easily maybe more um, just by doing tests for people so they can see how this system reacts in real time and I, I don't know how many videos we made guys but it, it's it's a very substantial amount of this channel is, is up the E2000 LFP but you know they always said that you know you, you can only review what you have right you can only test and review what you actually have I can do partial reviews like um, first look reviews at, at uh, you know the E1500 LFP which I did but until you actually get it in your hands that's all just hearsay or theories until you actually get to test it yourself oh one thing I don't know if I talked about in this video guys like I said I did this video for 45 46 minutes and then I found out I didn't have the, the microphone on so I, I forgot what I talked about already um, you remember uh, Mrs. Rambling Bob brought up a very valid point of why these outlets look different than these um, you see these little holes and then you have this big I call it like that Minecraft face or that uh, Ninja Turtle face it, it looks like the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles if you remember the cartoon back in the old days um, so I, this is the simplest test I could have ever done, and it, it went right over my head. I didn't think it was going to be uh, this simple for the answer to this, guys. Crazy, crazy simple. So I took a very simple flashlight, and I put it inside these holes, and you know what? They're not real holes. They're not real contact. It's a real hole, but there's no contact in there for ground, um, where this is an actual uh, um, port in there. There's actual copper in there that you know creates a ground. Uh, so you have a, a, a cycle circuit in case there's a problem. But this system is not grounded, guys, from the ports. So maybe that's why they were so weird looking. And I noticed on the uh, the E, uh, not the E, boy, but there goes the numbers again. I got millions of numbers in my head. Um, the Mylon 622 watt hour power station that was uh, the first big power, well, big at that time power station that we've ever bought that had the same ports. So I went back and I looked at that one, guys, and guess what? Same thing. These are fake ports, and I, I, I don't know why they had to make them so big and goofy looking like that, but there's nothing inside here, guys. You can check yours if you have an E600 LFP. You, you can look in there, and it's just plastic all in there. It's all that ABS plastic stuff, uh, that molding, but there's no, there's no ports. These are regular old-fashioned ports if you're an old fellow like me remember the old houses didn't have much grounds on there and then the crazy thing is when they updated houses nobody hooked up the doggone grounds you know when you pull us uh, the, the uh, outlet from the wall you can see there's only two wires there where it's supposed to be three right there's supposed to be a positive and uh, a neutral and a ground but <laughs> they, they, they never uh, hooked up the ground and a lot of old and what that was guys is really cheap construction workers and electricians guys do a better job out there uh, that's how they save money is one less wire you run that's a lot of money in copper uh, especially today holy cow the, the price of copper has gone mental mental S save your pennies guys S save your pennies that copper will be worth money in the long run uh, especially from 74 and older um, inside tip um, yeah I, I think that's about it I think that's really all I can say it'll have probably the dual charging wireless uh, phone thingy on the new one which I don't have I don't use but my wife does um, yeah boy I, I can't wait to see this screen I can't wait to try the app is literally on my tablet slash uh, fake phone if you will we use it for a tablet uh, that way we can fly drones and stuff with it because we don't use it uh, as a phone um, but it's ready to go hopefully within the, uh, about one week this bad boy will show up on the front porch uh, special message uh, message to FedEx and UPS guys please I'll buy you a cup of coffee please don't throw this please 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 don't throw this at the batteries guys I want this system to be a one so I can do a, a very fair and honest test with it um, like you know those knuckleheads they threw my blue eddy system 
Uh, they threw my, for some reason, the guy probably didn't like Blue Eddie, but, you know, he threw our solar panels, the guy threw our power stations, and it's like, guys, what is the problem? You know, if you can't afford it, come talk to me. I'll do a fundraiser maybe. We'll get you some money. We'll get you one of these systems or something. I don't know, but I'm sure there's a better way to do it rather than wreck other people's stuff. I'm sure that you could solve your problems and your headaches in a much more um, uh, productive way than to you know break other people's stuff. All right, guys, if you want to check it out, head over to Amazon. I'm not an affiliate to Amazon, guys, so you have to f- you know find the link yourself. I don't link to anywhere I'm not lo- uh, 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 affiliated with. Um, because I don't know if you could do that or not, so I'm not going to do that. But uh, if, if you guys want to check them out, these pictures, I think they're very interesting. I think this system is going to be a winner. I really do. It's small, powerful, versatile. Hopefully, they have the app. Um, like I said, I love this one. I really do. But, boy, if I could take a small one like that, it looks like it has a built-in handle. Like, if you guys remember the AC2A from Blue Eddy has that built-in handle now. Maybe they they kind of copied it. I do like, though, the same as Blue Eddy and everybody, uh, Occutel, they stayed with the their look of their system. I like that, guys. I like uniformity. Look, at this looks like a set. If you minus this one, this looks like a set, right? And I'm going to have it all stacked up, and we're going to have a Pecron Christmas and a Blue Eddy Christmas and an Occutel Christmas. We're, we're literally really going to make Christmas trees out of power stations and we're going to take pictures and wish everybody Merry Christmas this year. But uh, Alright guys, I think I rambled enough. I got my 40 minutes back. My original one is 45 or 46 minutes. Guys, if you're going to make a video, uh, don't make the mistake like I did and forget to turn on your microphone. Um, it does not help the situation at all. So when I went to go back and I'm like, what the heck? There's no sound. But uh, guys, let me know your thoughts. I'm cur- I'm literally curious to know what you guys think of these systems. I think these are both going to be winners. Um, I like the E2000 LFP. Uh, there are some folks out there that had some issues with it. Hopefully that will get worked out in the long run. Um, or the short run, peck run, stand up for your products. I'm always a fan of standing up for what you sell. If I made you guys a product, I would stand behind it. That's just how I do business. But being that I don't work for peck run, I can't force them, right? I can only tell you from the experience that I've had and the experience that other people tell me. I'm just a middle guy, right? I'm a middle guy that I bought the you know, I, I bought the technology. I've listened to other people. So I think that's a very honest middle guy for you where I, I, I you know, I don't delete people's, if, if you have something very productive, that's, uh, you know, I have a system and, and this is a pro. I've never deleted any bad uh, comments unless, guys, if you're going to bash a company, I can't have those on the channel because I don't think, you know, bashing a company doesn't fix the problem for other people that are having issues or vice versa. You know what I mean? So, it, like, I, guys, when I had the E2000 LFP, I'm sorry to go off on another tangent, but this has to be said. When I first got mine and I had, uh, and this is proof for me, this is proof. When I had uh, this system in September, as you saw, uh, of 2022, um, I, I had questions. I had issues and I had questions. Obviously, I made a channel because of it. Um, so I, I'm definitely standing up for, for my voice. I, I gave my, myself my own platform as far as a way that I can complain about things that I feel that are unfair. Um, but I don't bash companies. That's the big difference, guys. I, I don't I don't ever, I don't ever bash a company. Uh, I was very disappointed with Aventon, as you saw, but I, I, it's not Aventon's fault. It's customer service. So that seems to be a universal problem with a lot of companies, customer service guys. Get off your butt and take care of your customers. As I said before, if you don't have customers, you don't have a business. There's no way around that period. Um, so uh, to, to try to make it short story, but it's not, um, I had questions and I had opinions that I needed answers for, and I posted them on other people's uh, solar uh, uh, channel, uh, re- review channel things, right? I, I'm not going to tell you who because I don't think it's fair. Like I said, I don't bash channels. But I, I posted what I thought were very, very valid and very, very productive questions on, hey, what's up with these stupid um, cables? Like, something's not working. These lights are goofy. Guys, and you know what they did? They deleted all my comments. They deleted all my comments. I literally had no one to talk to. Pecron is in China, which means you have a broken conversation, so that's not helpful. And and when I tried to get um, English-speaking folks, no, no disrespect, English-speaking uh, folks on the comment section. Hey, what did you do to fix the light thing or understand the light thing or understand the cascading cables? Guys, you know, because it hurt their sales or whatever, they deleted my comments because it looked negative. Well, you know, here we're not going to do that. If you have a valid uh, question or issue or something, feel free to post it. Tell me what your experience is, and then we can both learn together. Because, And you know what? In all honesty, I had to learn the Pecron E2000 LFP by myself, literally. And then I forced 
Pecron to listen, which is why all these upgrades are going. This channel has changed Pecron for the better. I, I can guarantee that. I guarantee it because I have I I've literally uh, uh, negative rambled, if you will, on their 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 uh, their power brick. You know, I, I I gave them I gave them all kinds of hell from that. I gave them all kinds of heck from the 65 watts. That's fixed now. Hobotech did a review. They didn't they didn't seem to care. The E3000 Hobotech did it was 65 watts. The E2000 LFP they did, and now they went back and fixed the the issue. So uh, whether they they cared long term, good. That's a that's a positive step in the right direction for any company. Is listen to the people that are buying your products because as I said over and over and over, no customers, no business. That's just how business works. Um, but yeah, guys, if you have a question, if you have a comment, please feel free. We encourage you to, to you know give your reviews, your opinions, your questions, your ideas, your ide- uh, ideas for new technology, whatever. Please leave it on the channel, and we promise to leave it up, guys, as long as you don't bash a company. We're not here for that. We don't want to put down a company. We just want honest opinions and reviews. If you had a bad experience, say it. Say it on the channel. We leave we leave the comments up. I remember Kevin. If you guys remember Kevin, good one of my oldest subscribers, guy, great guy. He had an issue with this little fan making noise, and I, we pretty much figured out what it was. The fan was either too loose or too tight. Very 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 simple fix. It took me. I made a video with it. Thirty seconds. I could swap the fan out or or tighten the screws on the fan. It's a very simple fix. So rather than you know going and bashing. You know stuff. We we can help company any company figure out what the issue is, right? Every single heck, Ford is recalling cars because they're blowing up. Tesla's uh, recalling cars because the batteries are starting on fire. You're going to have technology withdrawals, if you will, and 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 bad bad customer service is the number one, though, guys. Bad customer service needs to be addressed a hundred percent. Oh my gosh, a hundred percent. I was going to buy a ten thousand dollar power station full of batteries and everything from a company, okay, and I got the worst customer service at that time. And I thought, well, I'm I'm keeping my ten grand. Are you crazy? So I went and I found Pecron. So if if you do have uh, a, 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 an opinion or anything make it productive let's fix the problems rather than fight I don't want to see the the arguments and everything um, like I said they deleted my comments and I think I had very valid questions how the heck do you do the cables why aren't the lights going off like you know you expect them to um, why is the 65 why and the, the, the owners or the people that run those channels which are big channels by the way they just deleted my comments they shadow banned me from their their, their page so I can't type anymore so it is what it is but uh, guys I, I'm looking at moving forward in life I'm looking at testing this stuff I'm looking at learning I'm looking at education so we can make an educated decision on where to spend our money the next time or what kind of technology like I said some of this technology might be not good for anybody right some of this all one two three four five six seven all these might be good for nobody and that's what we have these channels for is you can give your opinions right an open forum if you will so people can have their their reviews not censored guys not censored i remember i left a review on amazon guys and it was according to amazon it was negative because i i said that the customer service was bad um you know which it seems to be everywhere like i said everywhere holy cow you know um, every, I can't say every, but I would say probably 60, 70, 80 percent of the companies we dealt with in the last two years, we've got we've got bad customer service. Now some of it was just misunderstanding, bad day at work, whatever. Fix it, fix the problem. But uh, you know, Amazon deleted my review because our review because they they deemed it as negative towards the company, and I'm like, well, okay, let me rephrase it, and then they deleted that, and I was like, well, what kind of an open forum is a review? I believe in honest, fair reviews. If I tell you I don't like something, that means I don't like it. I didn't like the lunchbox. I'm glad Pecron got rid of that. It was a big, crappy, blocky thing that weighed five pounds and all the cables dangling everywhere. I I disliked it, and guess what? Because of that, possibly, it's gone. It's gone, guys. We got rid of the lunchbox. So if you have a productive, um, uh, you know, uh, n- negative review or whatever, post it. I want to hear about it. I've asked people, you know, get, give me your response from all these systems. I, I like Pecron. I really do. I, I haven't had any problems. I've been with them for a year as far as a product owner. I, I, I will own 
probably 80% of what you see on this page right here very, very soon. I will own that, guaranteed. I will own that, mark my money. I put my money where my mouth is. This is being shipped to us right now. Two more of these are being shipped to us. So I will own 80% of what's on this page. We own two of these, right? We don't own this, yeah, the 200 watt panel. We went right to the big boys. Um, but, you know, Pecker, you want to send me one of these? I'll, I'll review it for people. And then I'll own all this stuff. And then I can test it. And then everyone will have a very good, um, <clears throat> like, uh, encyclopedia, if you will, if I could be so bold to say that, a, a, a uh, knowledge base of where you can see the stuff in real time. And if you don't like it, don't buy it. That's That, I, I think, is the most powerful review out there is real-time reviews, which is why my videos are so long. I don't like to cut and paste videos. I want you to see when we cooked that food on that E600 LFP, I want you to see that in real time. Look, it worked. Nothing shut off. We didn't have an over-voltage. We didn't have an overpower amps, watts, or anything. It, it did it. So... Whether or not that system is perfect for you, that's irrelevant. It just proves that a test was done in real time so you can see it and make an educated guess on what you want to buy. All right, guys, ramble on. Be safe. I'm going to end it here. It's been 50 minutes of rambling. And uh, like I said, uh, come back within the week. I'm hoping that that system is going to show up at my doorstep and I will run out there like a kid in his pajamas in Christmas time and I will drag it in and I will do the unboxing here in real time. And if there's any faults or problems with that system, I promise you will see them here in real time. No fancy editing, no fancy, you know, cat meowing in the background and all this stuff. None of that stuff, guys. Real, long, but they're long. That's the only drawback long reviews okay guys ramble on be safe if you're not a subscriber get up there and hit that button guys be part of the family we need a bigger team so we can make these reviews uh seen by more people and then more important than that the opinions of the viewers has to be seen by more people i think that's extremely valuable much more valuable than the uh, website or or content that is created on this channel it's your opinion your review, your experiences. All right, guys, ramble on. Be safe. Don't forget to hit that like button, man. I'll see you next time, guys, on Rambling Bob Reviews. Take care. Bye.